Okay. Let, let, let's 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 just do a theme song. Okay. 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 Welcome everybody to the Eat the Fish Crew song. It's the beginning of our first talk show. <laughs> Isaac here with everybody else with Jake and Pat and Josh and Michael. And we're doing the Run DMC, the Paid the Piper, the Piper of the Weasel. The Weasel goes down into the hole. I step on the hole, the hole gets closed. And that's uh, that's the end of our show. I think that's, that's the it? start of our show. Yeah. Let's start this show about money that we all owe each other in this room. No, 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 <laughs> like, no, let's no, no, no. All that. Uh, so okay. we have to start about leaks. <laughs> no, there's a leak. I decided that there's a leak among Eat the Fish and that Julian Assange has... Um, Wait, what team. are they leaking? Well, we'll have to roll before we can find out. The, we're, we're rolling. We're, we're well, starting the show. We're just not really sure yeah. what we're starting. I, and what I'm saying is that I understand that an advanced Asian. copy of our scripts has, <laughs> has, uh, is, is going to be... Randy. WikiLeaks is going to be releasing on my TV Eat the Fish spoilers is the rumor that I've heard. Uh, I, I don't know if we need to worry about spoilers. I think there's a mole... A mole? Rather than a leak, we may have a mole problem and eat the fish. A mole problem? A spy and a mole. <laughs> but not a leak, <laughs> per se. Spy or mole? A spy and a mole. Well, the mole has a spy. Well, it, yeah. And, but none of them are. None of them have gotten any whistle ball, any whistleblowers involved yet, per se, right? But but who are they spying for? Who who is spying on us? Kitty Cat City or or um, the whitest kids you know. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's always uh, our style. They, stealing our bad ideas. Yeah, they stole our ba- bad <laughs> ideas. They from stole the past. guns. <laughs> they stole guns. Uh, yeah. Guns they is heard such us a say go-to. we're gonna make yeah. the fish all about guns, and then what season two, or but, three? But at the same oh, time, no. we decided to be all about guns. Josh was hearing it from several of his college friends in general. Like every indie thing is just all about fucking guns. Cause cause they're cheap and yeah. it's easy, you know. <laughs> I well, I think it's also like just super fashionable anyway. Like, yeah. At the point, people are wearing fake guns, like maybe not being focused on guns, and you know. It pushed us in the right direction. No mm-hmm. big death. Well, we were yeah. always focusing on death. I know, I know. Yeah, that. That's well, the fish is eat the fish is about death more than anything else, right? I mean, that's what that's that's what the show that's what the show does. It's underlying, yes. It's about death and Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess eat Not the death fish, and you know. <laughs> death and Isaac. Death and Isaac. Eat the fish is about life, though, and life. <laughs> Say so. that more seriously. <laughs> fish is about life. And life is about death. <laughs> was that serious enough for it you? It was about ten lives intersecting, you know, people from different backgrounds. It's, wait. <laughs> That's what Eat the Fish is about, obviously. Wow. Yeah. It's just a big love quadrangle, a big soap. Eat the soap doesn't need to be made. It's already so much drama. It's all talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I suppose if you take out the part about talking, <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So there's a far more insidious insinuation now. The underlying message of Eat the Fish is fecal philia propaganda. Um. Or did I say that? I, I that's thought the, that was understood. Okay, okay. I, I, just, thought that, I thought that's what you were saying. I mean, that's, that, that's, that's the subtext, kind of, but... Isn't that more like the text? I don't know if there's anything. The subtext is life. The text? <laughs> it's, it's the text in the first of the great Michael Minton scenes. Then it's become the subtext to every other scene. Like, it's almost like this introductory, like... Yes, Michael the Fecophilia. Oh yes, now Michael in ball sweat still wants to get shit on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> was that the plan in the it, sketch Ball Sweat? I mean, it was your uh, sketch. Yeah. So you you wrote yeah. it. But I mean, at I, this point, who do you think is the planner? At this point, it's really sort of um, it, it. It's something that the public kind of 
owns, and I don't know if I'm any more qualified to say whether the character intended to um, to uh, to get um, some sort of steamboat from Cleveland than but you know. Um, uh, you mentioned your character being fecal, a fecal filiac within Glue in the Gears anyway. You wrote, like, all of his fetishes, his taste, his very soul. You it's know, I mean, what is, no, what is fetish just designed from another shit joke, really? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, I, I suppose, um, I, I don't know if any of those fetishes could be said to really exist either. <laughs> if, uh, if, what if do you mean going by there? that? <laughs> I was about well, to first ask, first like, of all, how autobiographical is that element? <laughs> is it in the Reader's Digest? Is it in the Reader's Digest? Help, anybody? Is it in the Reader's Digest? No, we never made no, the Reader's no. Digest. We're not it's that not. famous. Yeah. We might make the Bohemian. Yeah. We're Bohemian? Make the Bohemian. Not, the, not the Reader's Digest. I'm a member of the Bohemian Club. No, <laughs> not the Grove. Not the, the Masons. Yeah. We're not talking oh, okay. about the, the, the evil place that yeah. you shouldn't really belong to. We it, it, wasn't, it wasn't originally evil uh, until the Bohemians came. <laughs> <laughs> it was just me chilling in nature. That was great. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back when it was, uh, back, back when they, it, it, there Did was one point. There? When they were just like any other banks of the Russian River passing through Monterio. <laughs> it's like they it's built a, this grove well, around actually, my neck. Well, actually, at that point, it probably wasn't the most wholesome place either, now that, that I think of it. <laughs> oh, Monterio. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know. I, I feel like I, I don't want to sound, like, old-fashioned here. I don't want to sound, like, prejudiced or backward in any way. And I feel like I'm a pretty liberal guy, but I don't think I would want my daughter dating a homosexual man. <laughs> I really feel very strongly about that. To say what you will, I just don't think it would be right. I, that's, I just, I don't know. Hmm. Some chicks dig gay guys, you know? At yeah. least you know what's not going on in your room. They really are doing each other's nails and stuff. Like, That's true, that's true. But, Man, it would just be too easy, you know, for. No, for you're him only to get... worried if you have a son too, and he wanders into the wrong bedroom, you, you know. You're just worried because <laughs> it might very well be like a person just like you who's just a fake gay. <laughs> Wait, are you a fake gay? <laughs> you me? <would> be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, you, are you accusing me? I um, was. Not, there is no ac That was a question. <laughs> It might be one of the many Michael tactics to be fake gay or fake lawyer or fake doctor or fake anything. <laughs> Whatever suits you in the moment. I mean, I'm an actor. I suppose yeah, if a script required it, I could be fake gay. <laughs> but you don't have names for your different personas that you portray in day-to-day -day conversations. Like. I don't actually have multiple personalities, if that's what <laughs> that's you're what you're asking. <laughs> yeah. I did, that's not something that <laughs> actually... Like it's happened yet. You, you yeah. just have multiple histories that you tell people, but you're, it's always as the character Michael mentioned. Is that true? <laughs> Everything that I do, Michael Minton does. Absolutely. That is, that I think... You could say that there's a 100% a correlation between things that I do and things that Michael Minton does. I, I believe... 100%? That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's really just a, a, an absolute correlation. What do you say, Isaac? Are you a liar? I don't lie, I tell the truth. That's what makes people think it's a lie. Oh, uh, okay. Because they can't handle the truth. Hmm. Could you but, say that more seriously? No. no. Let's get one more. <laughs> let's get, just for safety, let's get they can't handle the truth again. Okay. <laughs> Look at the camera. <laughs> ask me the question. Can Isaac, they, do you yes. ever lie? I don't lie, I just tell the truth. It makes it seem like a lie because most people can't handle the truth. I felt like you kind of rushed it that time. 
<laughs> well, I I don't think you can say it more serious than the first time anyway. Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess we got we know which one we got to get to. Right. Serious That's the, the as time. a safety for you. It's, it's the rush second take, and it's like, oh well, we're using the take we had. My yeah. version of safety is fucking up every other take, so you know my first one was the good one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you're like, I so do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably happened. It's probably happened. Uh, like, I'm not going to deliver this line right without my poop joke thrown in. <laughs> I'm going to stumble over it every other time. I love watching these takes of, of what we've been getting lately of you, Michael, where it's a close up on your face and you're having to do this line over and over again. You're just like, I'm going to do this line. Here's the line. Here's the line. Over and over again. Fuck you. <laughs> if you try to say it as many times as possible. You do eventually get kind of sarcastic. It's kind of weird. And, and it's, it's we all, didn't have it. It's yet. just the amazing fun dynamic between the, the Josh Michael on the set thing. Well, it just seems it's, like you don't have to stop the camera in between <laughs> all of those things. If I'm going to say it again, and then we're going to stop the camera. But, and but then you, do, again. you do it's need really, to wait for everyone else in the room to stop talking. But it is. I, I think it's more. It's more to like the fact that Michael knows us well enough to know that we're probably just gonna tell him to do it again. <laughs> we're just gonna keep telling him to do it again, and just do it again, and not actually give him any piece of instruction. So we just kind of converted it all to this rapid fire of takes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do that sometimes. Wait, we do that sometimes. Now you're getting. We do it. that sometimes. <laughs> So, Michael recently discovered sarcasm. Just so you know. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. How's sarcasm treating you? I, I'm glad you told me about it. Yeah. It's been a confusing 26 some odd years, hasn't it? With Fucking crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? We're, people say what they don't actually mean. Yeah. And they mean what they don't actually say. It's it's like there was this planet on 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 Stargate Atlantis where everybody pretended to be a peasant and then they had this giant underground military machine that they were building and then they were trading um they were trading wool with spaceships that occasionally landed. It was an entire planet of liars. And that's well, kind okay, of Okay, hold what... on, though. Because that barely connected for me. But, <laughs> like, it was either Gulliver's Travels or Legend. I think it might have been Legend where Tom Cruise, there's those horses that you can communicate with, and he explains Unicorns. to the... He, well, right. He explains to the unicorns what lying is, and they just, like, don't... Like, yeah, like sarcasm. Don't... Like, it, they, they don't get it. They're like... But we were given the power of words to convey truth. <laughs> and so they're just like, we, we can't, their minds could not comprehend the idea of a lie. As you cannot comprehend sarcasm un, until now, until now, which I wish we had champagne. <laughs> so you're saying that Josh cut off my horn and turned oh, me into an wow. ordinary horse? Yes. You are no longer a magical unicorn in the innocent fantasy world. You've joined the real world. I still exactly. I still feel horny. I'm sorry that I participated in that because I yeah, know you, you totally planned that. Set that I one totally up. no, I played into. It. I didn't set that up. I played into that. Yeah. <laughs> you helped. Lock, lock, lock Michael in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> that was really nothing. They got his account and we were his ass. There was nothing you would have done. Yeah, no, no. What, what was the name of his puppet? He was yelling at. He was mad that his oh, Wayne was saying. Oh, uh, what was the name of that puppet? What's the name of your puppet? <laughs> in Lex's thing, the Sullivans. Um, well, there's Dick. Is, is is my latest character? Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. We're, we're but really I was like, so Wayne was like, we need to get Dick laid, and and that's when you went into the <laughs> rant of, oh sure, let's get Dick laid, let's get the puppet laid, okay? <laughs> Never sure. mind me, let's take the puppet on the top and wingman his ass. <laughs> that forget is it. Michael, we, yeah, forget Michael, yeah. You, it's you scary really having your own words. It, it was <laughs> like, a really good monologue. Do you think like you we wrote it down. That was that good. Um. Yeah, let's get the puppet laid. Do the whole thing. Yeah, don't just do the <laughs> remember the whole okay. thing. Okay, take the puppet out on the town and wingman his ass. Yeah, never mind. 
my Michael. Take me and Emily. Lock Michael in the fucking oh, yeah. cave. <laughs> lock you away in a cave, but take him on the town and wingman his ass. Yeah. Let's lock these guys in a cave and have a night out on the town with the puppets. Let's just wingman their ass. Was that supposed to sound like that one guy? I, I don't know. I don't know. No, I, I, <laughs> wait, no, what, the guy who does the parrot. In, was that uh, Dick? In, in, no, in Aladdin, the was, guy who does the parrot. Oh, uh, Gilbert Godfrey? Yeah, yeah. Like Gilbert Godfrey. Yeah, That's what it sounded like to me. Godfrey. Michael is kind and of Gilbert Godfrey. And wingman his ass! <laughs> <laughs> wait, no. wait Gilbert, Michael, Gilbert Godfrey's a character actor. <laughs> <laughs> wait, Michael. wait a second. Wait, did you guys you're, laugh? You're also... <laughs> Why also when a did, little bit more like you guys Richard Dreyfuss and Bruce McCullough than that. So. <laughs> yeah, it was just random. It's gonna sound like it. Yeah, probably Richard Dreyfuss. Who's Richard Dreyfuss? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Holland's Opus? <laughs> Jaws? Jaws. What about Bob? Yeah, what about Bob? Oh, the sunset! <laughs> <laughs> the sunset! I, what? He was... He... He taught her, and he taught, like, that whole generation of kids how to play the sunset. And he taught them, <laughs> he taught them, he taught, he, he taught them how to connect to themselves through music. And he connected to them through music, but he couldn't connect to his own son, because his own son couldn't connect to the music. It was... But no, that's you're reminding no, no, me. That's, that's the ending, the light thing, so he could see music, so he did connect, right? Wasn't that how it went? I didn't so, watch that movie. So, Mr. Holland's Opus, no, he he. His relationship with his son was <laughs> he turns only music into his, color. His, his his relationship <laughs> with his son was only as good as uh, as 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 the late '90s technology could kind of replicate some sort of synesthesia. That was the quality <laughs> no, of his no, relationship no. with his that son. That was the quality of his son's understanding of music, which like had synergy and created more love than you could ever understand. Maybe I didn't understand that movie. Well, maybe you should watch it again, Michael. <laughs> Let's not go overboard here! Come on! What are you saying? Are you sure it's really worth... Did you no, hear? I definitely uh, didn't even remember Jake to just Friday, totally recommended that I go see <laughs> Mr. Holland's no, Opus. And I'm going to tell everybody no. that Jake was telling it's me to go and see Mr. Holland's <laughs> Opus. That was, that was unbelievably gay. I'm oh, sorry. Wow. I am wow. sorry. You know, you, Mr. You gay, Holland's Michael? Opus. Isn't it gayer to know that much about Mr. <laughs> Holland's Opus? Like, you, you know a lot about Mr. Holland's Opus. That's the only reason I could recall all that, was you fleshed out the I mean, I, I, I don't really Besides, entertain that much about Bad Richard Dreyfus movies. Come on, I raise consciousness about the need for music education in America's schools. <laughs> I, uh, Michael, would you unzip your shirt so we can see how your t-shirt is matched with your scarf? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone should see this. Five minutes ago we were talking about how he's a fake gay. Now he uses the term gay intolerantly as a prejudicial slang term and yet he is matching a scarf to his top <laughs> do you see the contradiction I'm getting at <laughs> but what you don't know is Michael's been wearing the same shirt forever and somebody probably just <laughs> knitted that scarf to match the shirt because they thought the shirt was infused with his body so it always yeah, match that's, that's just Michael's color so if you're grungy enough it's not gay that <laughs> is an actual possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave you the scarf? Was it a Christmas present? Um, yeah, it was my mom. Okay. I don't... Yeah, she probably knew that the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> and there, no, there you go. closed. <laughs> and it was his mom. Like, spot on, yeah. It, it was... It was uh, yeah, like you kind of has a pretty predictable style. <laughs> you, 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 you not only, you not only nailed, you not only nailed me. You straight up stigmatized me. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, and, and 
and I'm sitting next to a man who I think knows a little bit about being stigmatized. Oh, Isaac knows about stigmata. Stigmata? Yeah. Did <laughs> you see what I mean? He knows. Oh, yeah. I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> what Isaac did you make up? That, that word? <laughs> just, just about what he said, that sounds like right. <laughs> it, in fa- stigmata. it in fact is. Have you had intercourse with yourself as a female? Would you turn yourself down I for a different guy? I can hear the clock ticking. Would I turn myself bitch. down for a different... <laughs> if you were your own girl, your girl protected for you, would so, you turn yourself down for a different guy if you could be her? Now, let's just make one thing clear. She'd be you. you be him. You, uh, she'd be you. you be her. Would you turn yourself down if for If I had a girlfriend guy? who had to have sex with Bill Murray, I, that, that would just be sort of understood. You're gay. That's gay. And so cheap cut down himself not to like yourself. But Isaac, Isaac, let me be you. No, I'm not no. saying I don't like myself. <laughs> no. I'm not saying I don't like myself. I just happen to really like one William Murray. That's okay, so what happens when you go touch her and she's worked? And she's worked? What happens when she, when you go to, to do that with you and her when you got private time and she's worked? Isaac, have you gotten yourself pregnant then? Millions of times. It's called the children of Christ. So you've given Mm. birth? I've given birth. What's that? What's it like? like? Yeah. Um, well, you, it depends. Depends on which form of, which, which, which female form I am. I've heard it's like a bullet wound. Some of them can spit them out like champions. I've heard it's (laughs) like a bullet wound from the inside. Yeah, like, like, you know, you just. And just don't worry about it. Just push the fucker out. You know? Is it more of a like shotgun? Push but the other women, push the other out. women, push the baby out. Other women are champions. How is that like for you? Um, it hurts. Yeah. It's like um. Yeah, but you had a C-section it's, it, yet? It's like ultimate pain, out of love. And you're just saying. Do you take an anesthesia or do you keep it all natural? Um, they never tell me. <laughs> well, you as a mother, you you, you, know, you, you know you have a right to you know. know. No, yeah. no anesthetics. No, okay. no oh. anesthetics. Purely okay. natural. Okay. Sometimes I, I've actually given birth in a pool too. How is how is that? <laughs> That's great to see your baby automatically swimming. You know. <laughs> Are they like <laughs> dogs? I always no. wondered that about babies because dogs just sort of instinctively know how to swim, and I was thinking that, about testing the, that with the, infants. It's the exact same way. Really? You can get pregnant with yourself too. And then it Anybody would just know can. how to it's swim. It's that easy. And it but what happens if you get pregnant way. with the wrong guy, and you have your soulmate, and she has his kid, and you're you had him through? What? How does that work? If if you, if you did a different, you're thing. sort of your own soulmate, though, right? Yeah, I'm heterosexual. But most people aren't their own soulmates. No, they just they're ghetto. Ghetto sexual. Ghetto sexual. Yeah. Get-tro. No, it, it's it's it, it's called gay. Ghetto sexual? Gay is always impossible. Are Nothing's you, gonna touch me. Well, yeah, I was. Aren't you asexual then? If you have no, if you're your own soulmate. Asexual? What, what do you mean, like? I well, mean, if you <laughs> could be a girl and fuck yourself and make yourself pregnant, yeah. that would make you asexual. No, asexual would be if your soulmate didn't exist. If you are your own soulmate, then you are the no, antithesis I, of asexual. You, you are as sexual as it can possibly be. You are the walking consummation. Exactly. <laughs> no, Michael. That's a great phrase. No. But it's true. It's true. You're a medical professional. Do you know why, you know asexual do you know why, means you can have babies do, without... Do you know why all Isaac's but, girls are sexy? Because I take care of myself. See, I treat myself... The same way I treat myself as a man. See, if I'm doing good, don't fuck any girls and everything. Then my then my female side goes good, don't fuck any girls and everything. Don't fuck any, well, no. It, it's basically like, I take care of myself. You how I treat myself as a male is how I treat myself as a female. So naturally, I've got to be gorgeous. Well, yeah. And you got to treat yourself like a lady. When the time comes. Of course. Just, don't, yeah, just don't let a bunch of people, just don't be so gorgeous that you can't hang. Because sometimes they'll just say, the fucker deserved it. I hate it. I hate it when... You have to be so gorgeous, you're sick or holy, that means they can't even look. 
Have you ever Once. slapped yourself with, then? With, with desire, you can't. <laughs> with a, think, with a sacred person, with, with someone who goes so much to the sacred, <laughs> there, there can be no. Have you ever gotten fresh with if, yourself? If, yeah. if it was really sacred. Right, what if you Hold on. go over the line? Have you crossed your own line? Kinetics. If you were actually, well, if are, you are you were, talking uh, about kinetically recalibrating her face? I mean, no, it's it's it's, it's 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 like it's like if you're so, the more gorgeous you are, the more you're gonna have to keep guys backing you off. If you're so gorgeous that not a single guy can be sexually attracted to you or have a want or desire or anything of that, then you're sacred and holy. That means. Well, but what if you as a girl are so hot and then you make an advance on you as a hot girl and you don't the hot girl doesn't like it. So you slap yourself. Does this happen to you? No. Have you ever not got yourself drunk enough? Well, what time? Well, I, I so others have appeared. This is, this is others really have showed them. Others have we tried to, to kind of wind it down. Do we want a song before we uh, finish today? No, uh, sing a song about other other so than late. the fact other than the fact that it wasn't really my woman, it was another woman pretending to be my woman. If she didn't want it, because she wasn't my woman. See, naturally, I as a male, as a when I want it, I, as a female wants it too. So is it? It's me. How can I reject myself? <laughs> okay, that that's the answer. Totally. So you got a, you got a song to take us out today, buddy? Yeah. Cool. Okay. <sighs> <clears throat> Somebody do a drum beat or something, or not on the table. Do some beats. Not on the Make tables. some beats. I don't want to do all that right now. You can just okay. sing it, man. Down on the death of fury from the devil going against true love. LSD is the evil. The meaning is true love being struck in. The evil of LSD, the hallucinogenic. The meaning to be against true love. Where are you gonna pipe your piper now with the LSD busted? As I fucked up the devil, burn, motherfucker. And then after that, I fucking took my sack of weed back from there and said, Now it's legal, motherfucker. It can heal AIDS. 